All right, so the last video we talked about was about the German SIM cards. And in this detailed guide, we're going to talk about the bank accounts. So what kind of bank accounts are there that are going to give you some nice offers as a student? Again, like that's the main focus and what kind of bank accounts maybe you should avoid in the starting because uh, maybe it's not that easy to sign up and so on, right? All right, so I'm going to take you through detail. Um, the first thing I'm going to like see is Commerzbank. Again, I really like this bank account because it just has a lot of options. It is it has a um, established customer support. So when you have any kind of problems and stuff, you can actually call real people. The problem with many new banks. What are new banks? New banks are, for example, bank accounts that you have on your phone. The problem with them is that many times the customer support is horrible. Like I personally know Moniz is. Like I have one of the worst customer support experiences with Muniz. So like this is something that I cannot recommend to you at all. Like I think like Muniz is not a great idea when you're coming to Germany and you want to like, you know, do many things because also the IBAN that you get is from Belgium. Now, the thing is that it's not a problem at all as long as you're in the SEPA region. But still, like there are some old German companies which make drama. They're like, OK, why is the bank account in Belgium? Things like that. That's difficult to explain them that if you're living in EU, you can have a bank account anywhere. For example, I have bank accounts in Lithuania, Romania, Belgium, Germany, and you can like make these like rather easily, especially when you're an EU citizen. I'm a German citizen now, so for me, it's not a problem, but I was also a student when I came. So at that time for me, like, you know, there were some specific bank accounts that I personally really liked. And for example, like I said, Commerzbank is very nice. N26 is also a very good option. Um, Vivid Money has recently started, so you can use that um on your phone you can like you know get the link and everything then you have tomorrow bank again this is not a free bank so i personally do not recommend this for the students this is just like if you are like you know more environmentally friendly because they're doing a lot of a lot of that um on the lines of that but personally like you know i think like this is still like expensive for students you don't need to be paying any kind of money to run a bank account so this is the reason like i will i will kind of like you know keep this away from the comparison the next one is comdirect now comdirect is a daughter company of commerzbank so it does not really make a huge difference if you have it with um, this comdirect or you have with commerzbank and the thing with Comets, Comets Bank is like you generally have the sign up bonus and everything so like you have 50 euro sign up bonus that you are able to get once you use the account for three months and this is like, you know, completely for free just for opening the bank account with them. And it's completely for free. You're not paying any kind of money um, when you're running the bank account. That's a funny thing in Germany. You are paying money to have a bank account in Germany. That's I know that's a crazy logic, but that's how things are. Right. So Comdirect and uh, Tomorrow Bank and everything I will have in the course itself. This course is called Germany Arrival Essentials. And you will find the link for this in the description below. If you uh, like this course, share the course with your friends, because of course, this is all free information that you're able to get in a very structured manner in one single place. So once you've done your first formalities, that is like you've found your accommodation, you have done your city registration, you have enrolled in the university. Um, with this itself, you're able to, you know, like open a bank account. You don't even have to like, you know, essentially like be enrolled in a university for many bank accounts, but because you'll be opening, you know, um, like maybe some student bank accounts or something with some university with some banks and so on so maybe in those kind of areas they might ask you for an enrollment certificate but otherwise you can also try to open the bank account directly with city registration registration itself for city registration you don't need dramatic documents i can show it to you so here like there's a detailed video like you know what do you need to do a city registration and everything and where do you do it and so on so i've also like shared the forms and everything there this is for hamburg but for every single city it's going to be different so you can like you know use what i've taught you here and apply it for your own particular situation all right so once you've done that that is that could be the second day itself second or third day when you're arriving in germany you just do your city registration and afterwards you can go ahead and you can open a bank account with commerzbank because they have physical offices where you are able to uh, open the bank account. now what are the details about this so first of all again i always tell you to learn german because if you learn german like you'll be able to read these things very easily so kostenloses giro konto viele möglichkeiten Kostenlos, keine Kontoführungsgebühren bei monatlichen Geldeingängen von mindestens 700 Euro. So you don't have any kind of like monthly fees as long as you're getting 700 euros inside per month. So that is not a problem for you at all because the blocked account money itself is 863 euros per month. 
right? So this is not going to be a problem for you. Once you open your Jiro Conto, then you can also activate your blocked account and then you can put the details of the Jiro Conto, your bank account number and everything in the blocked account uh, for expatriate and so on. And um, that is done very easily. So what is the benefit of this? The first thing is like you get a Commerzbank Jiro card. Now, very important in Germany, there are two different things that you have to keep in mind. So Jiro card, I will show you how it looks like. So Jiro card are generally with this VPay. VPay or Jiro card, right? Like these are what you will find most of the banks, you know, kind of issuing you in Germany, the traditional banks. You will not have a Visa or MasterCard. That's the huge difference that I want to like, you know, uh, really tell you about in this video because people don't know it when, you, when, they, when they come to Germany. They just think they can use these cards for online purchases and stuff, but that is not the case at all. If you have a VPay card or if you have a Jiro card, you cannot use these to make any kind of online purchases. You have to then make a PayPal account and you have to pray to God that the website at which you want to get something done, they have a PayPal too, and then you are able to like make transactions. But otherwise with the VPay and the Jiro card, just like the Rupay card in India, right? These are not MasterCard or Visa and you are not able to use them anywhere outside Germany. So this is the reason I say like, okay, I think for the starting, it's great that you're like, you know, doing the main things you are able to like, you know, use it in any supermarket, any restaurant, things like that. It's very easy. Um, Visa and MasterCard, on the other hand, in Germany are not so widely accepted. They are accepted in some places and some, ex some places they are not accepted. So I remember one story, like I took Alina out for a lunch once. And what happened is like, we have these um, credit cards, right? So again, this is a very important lesson in this um, course itself, which is going to be right here. Uh, building a Schufa score, uh, two free German credit cards. So these are the two free German credit cards like that you can take a look at in the course Germany Arrival Essentials. Um, and they did not allow me to use the MasterCard. They did not allow me to use the American Express. They were like, no, we don't accept it, even though it was clearly written that they accept it. And the reason is that you are generally paying higher charges when you are you know, using these cards. The person who is taking the money, for example, I have online courses on my website. And whenever anybody buys a course and they're paying with MasterCard or Visa, they generally deduct 3% fees from the amount that you pay to us. That is like given directly to the Stripe and part of it is given to Visa or MasterCard, right? This is why you will find many shops in Germany. They will just directly straight away say like, you know, yeah, we are not going to accept the MasterCard or this Visa or something like that. This is the reason why I say like in the starting, it is a very good idea if you're going for Commerzbank because afterwards if you take with vivid money like they are having a visa debit card that's written it's showing right here if you take a look at n26 for example uh let me show you the plans so we can go to view plans and then afterwards virtual debit card so they are not showing here but i think this yeah it's showing actually right there in the front it's a mastercard it's a symbol for mastercard right so they have mastercard and they also have an option of a Maestro, which is similar to the Giro card and stuff, but it's also like not 100% accepted. This is the reason why I say when you come in the starting, use Commerzbank. When you have your city uh, city registration and everything done and you have your residence permit in the end. You know, once you have your residence permit or the residence card, then you can open N26 because, of course, I like the banking of N26 much better. You're able to make so many different kind of, you know... Um, these small walls in which you can like, you know, put the money, you have a lot of mini accounts within the bank account itself. And you can save money for different kinds of things. You can save money for taxes, you can save money for um, going on vacation, things like that, right? So but this only happens once you have a residence permit. That's when you can open N26. And then you can get a MasterCard with which you're able to make online purchases. But you need a Jiro Konto, you need a Commerzbank bank account in order to do the all of the basic things that you generally do in Germany. You're able to use mobile pay, this Apple Pay and Google Pay. You have online banking and mobile banking, yet and their mobile banking is actually also not bad. I like N26 better, but Commerzbank is also not bad. You have unlimited and completely free um, money deposits, so like if you want to deposit the cash or if you want to like take out the money. That's a really, really big thing because if I show you any of the bank accounts, let's take a look at N26. Um, look, it has only up to three free withdrawals, right? Um, and deposit cash. 
so withdrawing deposit cash is right here so you can still deposit cash but they also have a limit on that i've seen like many um, banks now putting limits but on withdrawals itself you can only have three free withdrawals after that you have to pay money if you're taking the paid version which is five euros per month again commerce bank does not have any kind of paid version at all if you're taking a paid version here you are getting five free withdrawals and if you're taking a higher version here you're again like having five free withdrawals and you're having free withdrawals in foreign currencies there they don't have any kind of limit and stuff also another benefit i find with the n26 is like you know especially when you have the paid plans you have all of a lot of insurances and the thing is like in germany people prefer insurances because insurances actually work when you put a claim or something um it's a very trust trustful system where you are knowing that okay if something goes wrong i can go to the insurance company and they can like you know uh, help me out with this and this is also because of the consumer protection laws and everything that the insurance companies are supposed to like work on these things faster you have flight insurance you have luggage coverage um you have trip insurance medical travel insurance and so on so a lot of nice things are included and medical uh, travel insurance and stuff are also sometimes included in credit cards and one of the credit cards that i tell you about um, here so again like the rules might change from one time to the next but generally you will find some very interesting perks also when you're having credit cards so if you say okay like i don't want to open n26 and but i still want a mastercard so what you can do is you can have your um, giro conto with commerce bank you have one bank account and then afterwards you can have these two credit cards and it's very nice because you save a lot of money with these credit cards um yeah you give out some kind of like you know let's say you have a compromise of privacy because like then they are able to track like what kind of purchases you're making and so on but still like you are able to get some money back if that is a compromise that you want to make and when you want to have a mastercard or american express you don't have to open an additional bank account right personally i don't see it dramatic because you are paying zero euros per month anyways for this free bank account too like if you want to have multiple bank accounts have multiple bank accounts who cares um, and you are just like able to kind of manage your finances better at this point in time if i really count i have like six different bank accounts and i have like two remittance services activated and i just like like to have everything diversified so that nothing is stuck in one single place for too long right so maybe like this could be a nice practice for you or like just to see the experience like even if you don't want to like you know use it or something you can close it anytime anyways you can try these different kind of bank accounts in order to see okay like you know which one do i like more so when you come to germany start with commerce bank you have your sign up bonus in 50 um 50 euros in three months and then afterwards you can go to n26 if you want all right um always read the details the fine prints so here it's written that it is like you know for you uh, completely for free as long as it is private usage so this is you as a student you are a private person so you don't have to worry about it for example companies like you know private limited or somebody who is a freelancer they open the bank account for them it is not going to be free you are a student you don't have to worry about it so as long as you're getting 700 euros per month inside you don't have to pay anything if you're not getting 700 euros per month inside you have to pay 9 euros 90 cents per month and this is not a problem for you at all because you are getting the money from the blocked account so it's very simple to open the bank account if you see you just click on cost and losses zero conto eröffnen then afterwards you have this form so for example either you can like you know translate into english if that is easy for you but it's really not that dramatic i've taught in my faster german even course i will just quickly show you so in the faster german even course like we also have details on how to fill out forms and things like that so lesson two yeah like reading um advertisements things like that the family yeah and then afterwards you will find i think it's in the starting itself do, 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 do. yeah just go through it like it everything is like pretty much covered inside this itself so once you do that you are also able to like you know fill out these basic forms it's really not dramatic you are having the title herr or frau or no so doctor doc professor doctor or something then afterwards the first name last name birth name this is generally for people who are married so who had a previous surname before 
and now they are like you know having a different surname then your date of birth place of birth country of birth then uh, nationality then afterwards you have your registered address and so on you put all of these details inside and afterwards you have to do a legitimation now legitimation is generally done with post ident no so either like many passports are able to do it at home itself or otherwise you have to download a post ident coupon with that you have to go to the post office in germany it's called deutsche post you will find a lot of like you know um these filiale branches nearby super simple and then afterwards once you go there your identity is um legitimized you get an email and then you're able to like open like run the bank account like normal so that's also very simple or you can also directly go to the bank both of the options are available for you so this is the thing that i really like about um commerzbank bank account then afterwards i talk about some other bank accounts like my personal favorite is transferwise for having like you know multiple different currencies in one single place and you can do it in germany like so i have many currencies in one single place and this is a free bank account you never pay any kind of money for that you can get the debit card for 8 euros only but again the issue comes that the iban number here is from belgium and many people might not like it or something so in those kind of scenarios i think commerce bank is a great starting and afterwards if you want to open these free bank accounts i mean transferwise is completely for free N26 is completely for free. Commerce Bank is completely for free. So like why not you try and see what kind of bank account you like and then you cancel the other ones. Okay? So this was a step by step detailed guide for this. All of the other details are mentioned in the course, the Germany Arrival Essentials, which is available for free on Big Academy. And when you go to module 2, you are also able to see like some other detailed bank account comparisons that are listed down on our new website which is financegermany.com and also a detailed review of commerce bank itself which you're able to able to find here um and then you can find some other details if you'd like to read here but i've covered everything in this video itself so you don't need to worry about something else if there's some kind of new information coming up whatever i will be updating it right away in the course itself so if you're enroll in the course that is beneficial for you because when you are at that step when you're at the step of opening a bank account then you come to the lesson you check out the lesson you check out the details and then you can go ahead and you can open a bank account all right so with this um i'm going to see you in another video let me know what is the next video you'd like to watch in the comment section and don't forget to enroll in the course i will see you later bye